Hey everybody, um, whether this is the first video or second video for you, I wanted to go through and um, and kind of give you like more like a run through of like how I expect you to, the course to run. What you know, how did I design it? How's that? Like so, this is like the first day of class. We're talking about the layout. So um, I guess the first thing to say to you is is that uh, you know like what happens every semester is I realize is that people don't log into canvas anymore they go straight to hawks learning because it's a separate learning environment and so and i noticed that because when 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 they ask me questions like you expect to just do this homework they get like all oh, irate with me they're like you expect to just do this homework and you didn't even like give us any any assistance and i'm like well did you see the videos i posted in in canvas and they're like oh no i haven't logged into canvas and so um i guess that's kind of like what I'm hoping that you'll realize and see is that your the way this would run for my class would be is that if you're going to do work for my class, you go to Canvas, you log in, you read through like what's going on, and then and then you log into Hawks. Like, and you have two tabs open, you can go back and forth. That's the most intelligent way. That's the design of the course. So as you come into the Canvas course, you're going to come off. You're going to see some uh, introduction or some announcements every week on. Saturday, um, or excuse me, on Sunday or Monday morning, I will post uh, a video or not a video, but like an announcement for the week. And then I'll be like, hey, this is what needs to be completed this week. This is what's expected. Any kind of feedback will be in there, kind of things coming up. So one communication that you need to make sure you read every week is that announcement. It will also go to your TU email address. So if you have that TU email set up on your cell phone, you can just take a look at that and see it there. Or you can log into Canvas and take a look at it. So Here's our first one, talks about your uh, textbook, um, talks about the calculator, talks about the first day of class, all those things I've already talked about in the syllabus. So we'll skip on to the next one. First day and first week. So this is kind of like what you'll get every Monday uh, morning and when you wake up and you open this up. First day, it's gonna kind of log through and tell you like, what should I be doing? So it's kind of guiding you through. What should I have done by the end of the week? Um, what should I be making sure I take care of? What about the the access code for the syllabus? Um, notice I do have a due date of Friday that you should have your account created. You have homework due Sunday, so you should probably have your account created sooner than that. But you know that's just like that way I can make sure I can follow up and and check on people Friday afternoon or Saturday morning to make sure they got their stuff going. All right. Um, please make sure you use your TL, TU email address when you create your Hawks Learning account. Um, a lot of people set, create other accounts and it just creates other things. And yeah, so just use TU's email address. Get used to using that. You've enrolled at TU, so please use their email address they provided for you for your TU related stuff. Keep your personal email address for your personal stuff. Um, yeah, so uh, the, right here, the, you know, the videos and stuff, they'll be coming soon. So make sure you're watching these videos that I'm recording right now. All right. So let's go back to home. All right, so um, there's the honor code thing. Make sure you read that and acknowledge it with the TU one. There's also one inside of my syllabus agreement thing. Um, you got the course overview, you got all this stuff. Please make sure you're going through and, and kind of browsing through those, making yourself aware of where things are located. You've got your opening activities. Um, and so you can kind of go through there and, and take a look at those opening activities. Um, you know, the how to create an account and enroll, how to, what are the best practices, which I have that video post other places, the best ways to communicate with me, um, a little bit of netiquette, like online, like how do we do this? How do we talk to each other? This is not a cell phone. This is not a, uh, we're not, you know, sending emojis and like, you know, abbreviating and what, whatever, you know, like the uh, abbreviations for things. We're not using that. This is professional. Like I, you're earning your degree, your four-year degree or, or more. And, you know, and I want us to practice professionalism. You know, I'm going to address you in your emails. I'm going to reply back to you and say, you know, um, hello, Sarah. Or I might even say, you know, address you by your last name. You know, so I expect that out of you. So Professor Fix coming back to me. Um, netiquette. Like, how do we interact? And that's just going to form habits for us to be successful in the work environment, which is also what I want. You've got an opening reflection, which is a chance for you to kind of kind of talk about and reflect upon how are you going to actually going to do this? Like, how are you going to balance your life, your job, your kids, whatever else you have going on in an eight week course? And, and you know, I know many of you are going to have different strategies, but I can't stress to you enough. 
from being someone who tried to do my doctorate um, while raising my son, having a part-time job and a full-time job and trying to do things that I wanted to do. Um, you really need to make a commitment to your time to these classes that you're taking this summer um, for you to be successful. So don't be stressed out by that. It's a frame of mind. You've made this decision to get your degree. So just go ahead and commit to that and, and, and get through it and you'll do great. And you'll be so happy, happy and proud of yourself when you do accomplish that goal of earning a degree. Um, something new this time is I'm doing a flip grid, um, which is just that you record yourself, uh, the kind of like give an introduction to everybody else. So what will happen is we'll, we'll go through and everyone will record their flip grid this week. And then next week I'll ask you to go, go and like look at everybody's if you haven't already and just kind of become familiar with who's in the class. Some people you might know and you might want to reach out, um, and, and, you know, and I'm not saying meet up, but you might want to work together on things, um, get, you know. If you're not getting the you know things from me that you need, you might reach out and say, "How did you do this?" or you know, "What approach are you taking?" Um, yeah, so peers help. It's it's good. Um, and then this is just a, the what I'm actually where I'm posting these videos, and you, so you see that in there. Then you'll see our assignments. So this is so this week you have your modular zero opening activities. It's also on your and I'm I'm going to do this old school. If you print out your course schedule, which I'll have posted for you. If you print out your course schedule, you can see that for week one in white right there, it's got like all the things you have to complete this week and you can just check them off as you're going through. And so I think that this sheet's a really important piece of paper because then when you open up Canvas, you know what you need to do. So um, let's take a look at one of these. So you click on getting started, section 1.1, and I walk through, I tell you the objectives, um, I, if you want, there's a PowerPoint for you where I've deleted the slides that are not relevant and only left the, the slides that are going to be relevant to the lesson. I've also created some handouts, which I have in that other video, best practices. I'm not going to go into that, but this kind of gives you like a layout, like how should you be going through these lessons? And remember me telling you that story about like students saying, man, you expect us to do this really hard work and there's no help videos. So in this case here, sometimes I post my videos here. Sometimes I post my videos in Hawks. And sometimes I have them in both places. So it's not like I'm trying to be complicated. It's just that, um, you know, it's I want people to see the content and I want them to be able to read this. So in my thought process, you go here, you log in, you're like, I need to work on 1.1. You click on the 1.1 lesson, you click on the Hawks Learning link, and it links you right to Hawks Learning. So you can log in and get into your course. And then you can see the assignments that you have due that you need to take care of. So um, I guess that that's kind of like, what I am assuming would be the best practice is to always use Canvas as your platform and then launch out of Canvas into Hawks. So let's go back. Remember, these up here are called breadcrumbs. So you can like click on like the last breadcrumb or you can go back to the very beginning or you can click on links over here. So I'm just gonna go back to home because it kind of gives you a better visual. And, and so you can see as it loads, uh, module zero and then module one. All right, so that's kind of our layout of Canvas. Obviously, you've got syllabus, you got your discussions. Um, I should probably take away quizzes because I only have one quiz, and that's the the um, the honors code thing that you got to do. Uh, your grade book, we'll you know you can explore that a little bit as we keep going. Please reach out if you have any questions about that. But that's kind of like the expectation of like how to use Canvas and how to relate that in. Um, I hope this helps. Uh, and it's pretty short, pretty quick. And uh, but like I told you in the last video, please reach out if you have questions. I am here 100% to help you. Um, don't feel silly. Don't be like he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna be like, oh, why are you asking me that question? No, I'm not. You know, I'm going to you know address that, and I might point out and say, have you looked at this yet? Because I try to address all the pieces, but it's just like I already got a student an email this morning um, on the Flipgrid. I didn't have it set up correctly. So it might be a situation where I don't have it set up and you might be helping the class move more successfully um, through the content. Um, so I appreciate you. Please reach out when you have questions. Don't wait till the last minute to ask questions. Ask me when it happens, okay? Um, all right, guys. Super excited. Good luck with everything.